a very British Sunday. So it looks all nice when everybody arrives because, oh, I do love hosting. Oh my gosh, you can still hear the music pumping out of my headphones. Hello guys, good morning. Goodness me, I am so sweaty. Now I feel like I'm shouting because I've actually had quite loud music and I've just realized how loud that music was. And now I'm shouting at you. Oh, I've just got back from a run and I wore this running jacket, which I do absolutely love. It's from Tala, but it's way too hot to be running in long sleeves. It's like 23 degrees, which is far, far too warm. If you're running with this on, I need um, I need to find a way to like have my phone with me. I don't really want an armbandy thing. Anyway, that's my own problem to solve. So I'm gonna get this off, jump in the shower. As you can see, I've just done a very large weekly food shop, unglamorous. We have got all of the <laughs> cleaning supplies and household stock that we need. This week, we are gonna spend a productive few days together. We're basically gonna spend the week together, partly resetting from traveling and being away and restocking the flat, getting back into a routine and just doing all the good things that make us feel 10 out of 10 during the sunny summer months. The weather is glorious and we want to have such a good week. So I'm gonna get all of this unpacked. I'm going to dive in the shower because boy, do I need one. And then we're gonna catch up because I know that I kind of just vanished to Paris and my video before that was like a morning routine where we don't get to kind of like catch up casually day to day. So I kind of feel like we have lots to catch up on. So why not make it a long one and catch up over the whole week? Right, time to unpack and jump in the shower. A quick overview of the food shop. Oh my goodness, am I excited to cook this week. It's gonna be such a nutritious week. I can just feel it, obviously apart from. <laughs> I feel like all I've bought is all like greens and veggies of all different descriptions and then three blocks of different cheese, which pretty much sums me up. But I'm so excited. I'm going to make a really nice sun-dried tomato soup, I think, this week. We've obviously got all of the ingredients for Greek salad, which is my absolute favourite. Courgette pasta, you know, that's always a massive staple for me. We're going to do a couple of mushroom omelettes, I think, this week because I've got eggs in the fridge from before I left that are still good. Oh, so excited to turn all of this stuff into very, very delicious and nutritious things. Today is already turning into a very snacky day because my meetings started earlier than I expected. So I've already had a little piece of toast with avocado on and then my meeting just finished. So I wanted another one. And this one I've made very bougie with some feta and chili oil. Oh my gosh, doesn't that just look so good? And look at how gorgeous the light in here is. Look at my really poor, sad, dead sunflowers. I really need to treat myself and get some new flowers to freshen the space up. But this sunshine is absolutely glorious. So I have literally five minutes between meetings and I'm going to eat this delightful little feta toast with, did I put any of this away before I jumped in the shower? No, I didn't. I ended up noticing my meeting and diving into the shower, so I need to do that. My mojo juice of the day because Oh, there's just nothing better than these little guys. I love the ginger shots so, so much. That is so good. Mm, mm, so tonight for dinner, I'm making burger bowls. So I've got some Beyond Mints, which I'm basically gonna like, well, I've got Beyond Burgers, which I'm essentially gonna mince up with some paprika. I've made this salad, which is so good. I need to stop eating it. It's basically like a bit of feta that's gone kind of creamy with cannellini beans and cucumber and tomato. And that's literally it. And then I'm just gonna make a bit of a guac as well with these avocados and a bit of spring onion and some lemon. I'm drinking a dash. I've got the office on. I've got my laptops here because I've been finishing up a little bit of work, even though it is already, what time is it? Um, it's quarter past six, but yeah, I've basically been finishing up a bit of work while I cook. Might even put a couple of chips in the oven. I honestly think there's no better way to finish a long day than with a excellent meal. So very excited about this. guys full disclosure it is a few days later now it is sunday morning it is probably about 11 a.m now 
yeah it's just gone 11 a.m and through a spontaneous turn of events i'm actually hosting a barbecue for some of our friends here this afternoon to watch the wimbledon tennis finals which is very exciting the weather is absolutely incredible so i've got on my free people dress which you saw me wear in paris i just love it so much it's just it's so comfy i mean i don't know how to show you best it's like so floaty and comfortable which i absolutely love it's also completely backless which is so nice especially in the hot weather and it's like a pink lilac -y color which is perfect for barbie season and i feel like the whole world is just in full barbie season i've also got these gorgeous flowers at the moment my, my friend got these for me and this is actually like a full bunch of south african blooms which is so gorgeous so these are protea which is the national flower of south africa which is just such a nice touch that my friend got these for me because obviously cameron is south african and yes look at this glorious weather so i literally cannot think of a better day to have a very british summer barbecue so the first of my friends is arriving at 12. So we've only got just under an hour to get all the bits that i need i'm actually already sweating a bit because it's so warm so i'm going to pop the fan on i have got the hoover out because i need to do a bit of a clean of this place i mean it's not actually too bad like i've got the recycling that i need to pop out i think what i'm gonna do is pull the tv out twist it this way i can't really open the doors much more than that but like push these doors out as far as i can and then if we kind of barbecue out there and we can kind of watch the tv so like enjoy this outside space oh my gosh look at the butterfly so pretty stop um if i then turn it this way we'll all be able to watch the tennis from out here in the sunshine which i think will be gorgeous oh bye butterfly oh so pretty so yeah things on the immediate to-do list is i need to do a bit of a clean of the place i mean not my typical sunday reset because this place is going to become an absolute mess once all my friends are here but I can't think of a better way to spend a very British Sunday enjoying the Wimbledon final. I need to try and get like strawberries and cream and make pims and we'll just have a British barbecue outside and I am so excited. So you can probably tell that my brain is a little bit all over the place. I need to, I need to do a clean, pop the shops. Cameron is currently playing golf with a couple of the boys. So they'll get back a little bit later and they can just enjoy me doing all of the hosting and prep work without them, lucky them. Right, lots to do, not that long to do it. Let's get cracking. Okay, I've done a blitz of the Hoover. To be honest, the rest of it is kind of fine. Like I'm fine with everything else being as tidy as it is that is definitely one of the perks of having your flat on the market and lots of people coming to see it it stays in general in a much tidier state than it normally does i have just stuck some baking soda in here because my sink has all got a bit stained which is very gross and baking soda or bicarbonate of soda honestly cleans it up straight away such an easy job i need to put out my recycling in just a minute and the fridge is in such a state i mean Having these little boxes always keeps things somewhat a tiny bit organized, but the rest of it is just pure chaos. And I'm gonna need to be able to clear some space so that people can pop their drinks in here. So I'm now just gonna do a bit of a fridge clear out and declutter, and then I'm going to shoot to the shops to buy all of the delicious stuff that then needs to somehow fit in here. <laughs> I think this is the best I can do. I have got the rest of this tray here for like non-alcoholic drinks. I'll pop in here for people if want those. I've got bottles of wine here. This one is basically finished to be honest, but then I've got two extra. I'm going to buy some Pim's ingredients. I'm going to buy some limes because I've only got two lemons. I've kind of shoved the stuff that is like my fridge stuff left there that we're definitely not gonna need. And then I've got some strawberries to add to the pims, but I'm going to need to get some more. And then I've got some salad bits, 
which will be useful for me turning into a salad. And then I've tried to clear a bit of extra space here on my kind of like condiment. I mean, how many condiments does a girl need? But anyway, I've cleared some more space here as well. So hopefully there'll be enough to like put all of the meat and salads and extra drinks that I buy when I pop to the shops right now. Okay, we are on a roll. Let's keep going. Okay, we're back. We got like almost everything we need. I couldn't carry everything, so. Also why I wore a jacket, I've got no idea. Flip a neck, whew. Um, yeah, I might need, um, actually I could do with using that. It's so windy out there. <laughs> like, because I had bags in each hand, the wind was actually going across my face. And I was like, I can't see, but I also can't move. People in the street probably thought I looked ridiculous. Anyway, we are going to have a dash water because they are just the best. Oh, cheers guys. Happy summer. Oh, delightful. Okay. Let me show you what I got. So I got a couple of bags of crisps. Pepple chips are just my fave. I basically got like a sweet chili and sour cream one. And then I got just like a plain lightly salted one. And then I got a range of dips to go with that. So I got like a summer edition hummus, whatever that means. And then I got a whipped feta dip, which I've got before. I can't remember if I've shown you guys before, but it's so good, that one. I got two of my favorite guacamoles because they were only little. So I got a couple of those. I got a bag of ice because my poor ice cube trays probably are not up to the challenge all on their own today. I got another box of strawberries and these ones are actually way better than the ones I've got anyway. The ones I've got are a little bit small. I got oranges to go with the strawberries in the pims. And I also got the cucumber, which is hiding out somewhere for the pins as well. I got olives and I got some coleslaw. I got some feta to make a bit of a Greek salad to go with everything. Oh, I could use some sunglasses to get that on my face as well. And then I got four burgers for Cameron and his friend, because I'm not sure they'll have a chance to get stuff. But basically I'm gonna say to him when he gets back, you can pop to the shops because I just don't love buying meat. I have no issue with other people eating meat at all, but just because I don't, I'm like, I don't really wanna buy it, you know? So I got myself some Beyond Meat burgers, which are my very fave. So I got four meat burgers, two Beyond Meat burgers. And then basically I've just said to everyone, I'll buy loads of salad bits. I'll do a bit of like, a spread of everything else. And then if everybody buys their own meat stuff and brings that with them, like kind of the main as it were. And then I got a load of burger buns just in case people didn't bring some or if just in case we needed extras. I got a bag of salad, cucumber. I got some tonic water and I got this particular lemonade to go in the pims, which just looks so nice sparkling Sicilian lemonade. And it's like a cloudy lemonade and I just think it looks so good. So very excited about that. And then some mint and that is it. And as you can probably tell, the magic ingredient of Pim's is missing because they didn't have any. So I'm either gonna have to message somebody and see if they could bring some for me. I just realized I've got no earrings in as well. I need to pop some in. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can get some delivered over here because I also don't have um, any beer for the boys either. I've got wine, but um, I haven't got any beer. Right, let's sort this out and put all this away and then start putting this out into like Actually, maybe it's a little bit early to start putting out into bowls, but I might start putting this out into like little bowls and stuff. So it looks all nice when everybody arrives because, oh, I do love hosting. Sorry if you can hear the plane outside, very noisy. Okay, yay. I have the rest of the goods. Gosh. Hosting is a whole thing, but I just love it so much. Right, what have we got in here? So I got some beers for whoever wants them. Um, I got another bag of ice. Oh gosh, this bag is huge. My freezer's not very big. I got another couple of lemons. Still, just no limes seem to be anywhere. And then the one thing they haven't delivered is the pims. Oh my gosh, let me just see. Out of stock, no pims. Oh my gosh. No pims anywhere. Grr. 
I'm going to have to ask other people to try some different shops. I mean, it makes sense. It's Wimbledon Sunday. Why would I? Why would I try and find pims on Wimbledon Sunday? Like a moron. I should have ordered it way sooner. But we have nothing. So never mind. The other drinks will have to do. Clear out this recycling so that everybody can put their empty drink stuff on the side when they finish with it. So jobs still on my to-do list after this recycling is sort out all this stuff and put it away. I really wanted to make my jug of pims before people arrived, so that has disappointed me, but never mind. Um, I'm gonna do this and then, what was it? Oh, it's just totally gone from my head now. Ah, find music, that was it. I need to put on a bit of a playlist. I need to find some tunes. No one else can find pims either. <laughs> okay, so one of my friends is on it with the pims. It is time to get all of this stuff into the fridge so it can stay nice and cold before we eat a little bit later. I do have a pet fox. <laughs> oh, I think I've showed you this before, but he does it so often. <laughs> he also was just like two seconds ago, just like chilling back there. Oh. Anyway, so uh, I need to sort this out because I have viewings and talk about having a dog that climbs on furniture. <laughs> Look at this. Outrageous. All of these little paw prints. Excuse me, Mr. Fox. <laughs> I actually can't believe it. I think he's trying to dig like a little den under there, honestly. But this is not the place. There is no space here. Anyway. So <laughs> I now need to spend some time fixing all this up because that is not okay from my nice summer garden. The weather today though is absolutely stunning. I say that, it has been very hit and miss lately. So when the sun comes out, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And then it pours with rain two seconds later, you can see up there like one minute, the clouds go very gray and dark, but whilst it's sunny, I'm gonna clear up this mess. Thank you, Mr. Fox. It also doesn't help. This is literally the only tool I have for the job. Just this little, this one little trowel, but me and my little trowel will do the best we can. Okay, I think this is gonna do for now. Like I could probably do a more thorough job to be honest but I'm literally doing this in between meetings. I've just shoved everything over to the side. I've propped my little plant back up and padded him down with some of that soil. I'm actually gonna leave these as they are because I can actually see that he is over there. He is hiding over there. And I think if he's gonna come back and do the same thing, I might just leave it for like another day and then try and think of a better plan. I don't know. And then maybe I'll tackle it tomorrow morning. I'll see if he's come back and like, if he's dug the whole thing again and like done it all again, I'll think of another plan. I don't suppose there's anything you can really do about foxes. I mean, I just think that we're living in the same space and I guess my garden is also his house. So we're just gonna have to learn to share. Hear me okay guys but we are going on a house viewing which is so exciting i don't know if you can tell how bad the weather is i mean of course you can with my umbrella 
and it is absolutely chucking it down. Like, ugh. I didn't even want to put my arm too far out forward because it just, I'm getting like soaking wet. It is truly torrential rain. But anyway, we're going on a house viewing. We're actually going on two. And then you can let me know what you think. It's so exciting. I can't believe how bad this weather is for July. I'm getting very wet. So anyway, I will see you when we get there. It's like cute enough for like a little cot or a study it'd be a lovely study room then you come through here and this is the bathroom here you've got space in the loft if we need it this is like the main second bedroom so again lots of lovely light which is so nice and you can fit a proper like double bed in there which is good and then this is the main room which is absolutely massive to be honest and then they're doing some works at the moment so they've got some building work outside but you've got lovely shutters and everything so you would need to pay for getting those put in but yeah this room's lovely but that's it and it's nice having like quite high ceilings as well the staircase is very cute taking a quick clip so I can look at it again over the weekend. Hello guys. Goodness me. Firstly, I'm sorry that this vlog has been slightly chaotic. I think this is the first time that I've vlogged over several days, like more than just a couple. And I've really done this like over a whole week. And, and it turns out that that's meant it's slightly chaotic. I need to be more organized at doing vlogs that last several days. But either way, it's actually so nice being able to hang out over a whole week, even if the clips do feel a little bit disjointed. And I'm sorry about that. But we have so much to catch up on. I am so excited for an August reset, which I'm gonna do in the next couple of days. So it'll be next week's video, a proper August reset. I'm gonna go into why, but July has definitely made me feel slightly unsettled. And I'm very excited to head into August with some new goals to try and help settle me slightly. So, First of all, Paris was so amazing. If you haven't seen the Paris vlog, go and watch it because I just think it was the most perfect Parisian itinerary ever. The best food I've ever had in Paris, bar none, like out a doubt. I feel like that little area that we were staying in, Marais, was just the perfect place to stay in Paris. It was 
incredible. We had actually booked the trains a while ago because it was our anniversary weekend, which was so special and wow, what a crazy whirlwind of a year. But the rest of the trip just kind of crept up on us and all of a sudden we were like, oh my gosh, we're going to Paris next weekend. And it just appeared. Anyway, Paris was absolutely lovely so hot recommend paris so highly it's just one of the most special cities in the world and we had the best time really the main thing that has been keeping me busy over the last week or two has been house viewings guys we have seen so many properties they all range so highly from like really well finished and complete and we just move straight in to to be honest, most of them actually need quite a lot of work doing. And I think that's because at the moment, the market's so bad, interest rates for mortgages are so high that it means that the market's just really slow and there aren't a lot of properties on the market. It's been really hard to find somewhere that's right for us, to be honest. We actually did put in an offer on somewhere and we loved it and we were really excited about it. And then our offer got rejected, which was super disappointing. So, we're still looking, but we're just embracing the fact that it is a bit of a process. But there is somewhere that we love that I've got high hopes about, but I'm gonna wait until my August reset video to tell you more about it. And hopefully by then I will know more. The other thing that is so exciting that I wanted to update you on is I got my promotion, which is so exciting. I was also gonna wait and talk about that in my August reset video, but, but I just can't keep a secret from you guys, even for one second, and I love sharing good news. So it took way longer to confirm than I was hoping. Remember I said to you like, oh yeah, I'll know by next week or I'll know by Monday, and it just kept going and going and going. And I thought I was gonna know by the end of June, and it's now basically the end of July, and I just got confirmation. But I don't care how long it took. I'm so pleased and so excited. I got my promotion, which means I also got a bit of a pay rise as well. So I had a bit, a bit of a bump in pay, but honestly the most exciting thing is the title jump for me. I've gone from being a manager to a senior manager, which, which is just really cool. So I am very, very pleased about that. For the rest of my life updates, we're gonna dive into all of my reflections on the last month and goals and everything in my August reset video. For now, I'm going out with some friends for dinner this evening. I just need to wrap up some more work this afternoon before I'm able to log off. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to do the pause element of my pause, reflect and plan method for how I reset each month. So tomorrow I'm gonna to do my pause, have a bit of a day just with me, just a bit of a self-care day, which is really the essence of the pause, a bit of a self-care day, doing all the things that I love. I'm so excited to do that tomorrow. And then the day after that, I'm gonna really sit down and plan out all of my goals for August. It's the last month of summer, guys. That is what August is. It's the last month of summer. And it has been such a weird summer here in the UK, I feel like. We've had bouts of amazing weather and then bouts of like truly awful weather. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I know it was a bit all over the place. I hope that's okay. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved hanging out with you. As always, have the very, very best week, guys, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.